After you've been in business for a while, you begin to see folks fall into the same pitfalls again and again. One of the mistakes that I've seen many people make online when starting a business is that they're trying to be everything to everyone. It reminds me of the common adage that I don't know what the key to success is, but I know the secret to failure, and that's trying to please everyone. You have to keep in mind that the internet is a vast place and people's attention is being pulled constantly in many directions. You have no doubt spent countless hours thinking about your website to the point that it feels as though it's the center of the entire online universe. But you need to keep in mind in the perspective and the potential customer. For them, your website, no matter how well designed and crafted, is just one more place on the internet competing for their eyeballs and their credit card information. The default will never be for them to click on your link. You need to persuade them to make that jump. And the process begins with truly understanding where your customer is coming from. I've learned through the extensive trial and error that the key to building a successful online business is knowing who your customer is and talking directly to him or her. You may have heard the term USP, which stands for the term Unique Selling Proposition. This is an important factor to keep in mind as well. It essentially sums up the reason why customers should use your good or service when they have so many other options at their fingertips. There are a lot of strong examples out there. The Unique Selling Proposition that Sam Walton developed for Walmart is that their store sells just about anything that you can imagine under the roof for lower prices that you'll be able to find anywhere or just about anywhere else. Amazon unique selling proposition is taking the same concept to the online marketplace where you can locate almost anything you can imagine and have it delivered right to your door. Nailing down where you fit will help you identify how you can run and help your customer in a way that no one else can quite match. However, too many entrepreneurs start there with launching a new business. They have thought through all of the ins and outs of what is special about their business, but haven't given a fraction of the same thought to knowing what is special about the customers they seek to serve. I've said it to young people starting out countless times, know your USP is not enough on its own. It certainly does tell your customer what is unique about you, and that's true. But if you're not talking with the right person or the correct target audience, then they simply don't care. You need to really delve into the problem of your ideal customer and how you can uniquely serve them. This requires that you spend time figuring out exactly what your pains of your ideal customer are. You should spend time truly walking through in their shoes through a variety of methods. Don't just conduct interviews and focus groups, but get into the field. If you want to introduce technology that makes manufacturing prototyping more efficient, don't just read reports and call a few people or potential suppliers. Get out there into the factories right along with the folks who can really work that supply chain and get up close, get an up close perspective on what types of problems your customers are facing each day. And you can't just highlight the problem. You must also be providing them with a robust solution. All of your marketing should focus on the end result of your, that your ideal customer is searching for, the result that you can help provide them as they enter into business with you. You'll find that the businesses that truly dominate in their field put a high premium and pride themselves on thoroughly understanding their customers. You can find few better examples than Disney which has built its brand upon providing its customers with experiences that are not just personalized, but they truly seem magical. Not only does this produce special memories for the families, but it also continues to deliver consistent returns for shareholders as well, who understand the unique power of the Disney name. It's a worldwide company now, but as with the growth of many great companies, that ethos all began with the founder, Walt Disney. Walt simply laid out his mantra for serving customers with that mantra that you don't build it for yourself. You know what the people want and you build it for them. He understood from spending time with potential customers and moviegoers that families were hungry for experiences that they could all share together, as opposed to entertainment that was segmented off just for children or for adults. Even today, the parks are built to continually improve and refine themselves using feedback from customers. It isn't just feedback from scientific methods like surveys or focus group. 
Disney espouses the importance of speaking directly to customers face to face, treating each and every park visitor as a guest in a Disney home. Employees and executives alike are encouraged to go out into the company's parks, theaters, ships, and other assets to hear from customers firsthand and find out what is working and what needs to be changed. The concept applies to each and every member of the team, even the custodians are really encouraged to see themselves as the eyes and ears and the front lines of the customer engagement and to provide input on how the customer experience can be refined. Every member of the Disney family goes through extensive training in which they are explicitly taught to view customer's engagement on their, as, their really, as their primary job as representatives regardless of their level of duties within the organization. Disney is obviously a very large enterprise with a very well-developed internal trading program. But the same ethos of looking at one's business through the perspective of the customer first can have impact at any level, large or small. You may even want to do away with the concept of VIP customer and strive to treat each and every person as though they're VIPs. By creating unique and memorable experiences for your customers, you could be in a much better place to earn their loyalty overall than all the other options out there. We've all heard those stories of companies that have went above and beyond to help their customers, going to extreme lengths to ship them packages they needed for special occasions or bending over backwards to make corrections under fast deadlines. You give your customer an experience of uncommon service, you will likely find that you have earned yourself a customer for life and that will not sway their loyalty in you at any time. So be sure and provide exemplary customer service at every level and always keep in mind what is it that you, the end result, what is it that your customer is looking for and when you do that you'll be able to build a thriving online business. You can learn more and subscribe to more articles and trainings at my website, TonyNewmeyer.com. Be sure to subscribe or, or subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Facebook. And until next time, live rich.